Little Red Riding Hood and the Brave Woodsman Once upon a time, in a small village nestled in the middle of a grand forest, there lived a sweet, kind-hearted girl named Little Red Riding Hood. She earned her name because of the beautiful red hooded cloak her grandmother had lovingly made for her. Little Red adored her cloak and wore it everywhere, especially on her visits to her dear grandmother, who lived on the other side of the enchanted forest. One sunny morning, Little Red's mother packed a basket full of freshly baked bread, sweet treats, and a jar of golden honey. Take this to your grandmother, her mother said with a smile. But remember, stay on the path and don't talk to strangers. I promise, mother, Little Red replied, her eyes gleaming with excitement. She kissed her mother goodbye and set off down the winding path that led through the woods, skipping and humming a cheerful tune as the sun filtered through the trees. Little Red didn't realize that hidden among the shadows of the trees, a sly wolf was watching her closely. The wolf was sneaky and cunning, and the moment he saw Little Red, he licked his lips and thought, what a delicious basket of goodies she's carrying. Maybe I can trick her into sharing it with me. The wolf quickly put on a friendly smile and stepped out from behind the trees. Good morning, Little Red Riding Hood, he said sweetly, though his eyes gleamed with mischief. Where are you going on such a fine day? Oh, good morning, Mr. Wolf, Little Red said politely. I'm going to visit my grandmother. She's feeling unwell, and I'm bringing her some treats to help her feel better. The wolf's mind raced with a plan. How thoughtful of you, he said with a fake grin. But wouldn't it be even more special if you pick some beautiful flowers from the meadow over there? I'm sure your grandmother would love a bouquet along with those treats. Little Red's eyes lit up at the idea. That's a lovely thought, she exclaimed. Without thinking, she skipped off into the meadow to gather flowers, leaving the path behind. The wolf grinned wickedly. Now's my chance, he thought, and as fast as lightning, he dashed through the woods toward grandmother's cottage. When the wolf arrived at the cottage, he knocked gently on the door. Grandmother, resting in bed, called out. Who is it? It's me, Little Red Riding Hood, the wolf replied in a voice as sweet as honey. I've brought you some treats. Grandmother sensed something was wrong, but before she could react, the wolf burst into the cottage and locked her in the closet. With a gleeful chuckle, he quickly put on grandmother's nightcap, her glasses, and snuggled into the bed, pulling the blankets up to his chin. He was ready for his next trick. Meanwhile, Little Red happily gathered the flowers and skipped toward the cottage. When she arrived, she knocked on the door. Grandma, it's me, Little Red Riding Hood. I've brought you some treats. From inside, the wolf, disguised as grandmother, answered in a raspy voice, Come in, my dear. Little Red entered the cottage, but as she stepped closer to the bed, something seemed dot different. Grandmother didn't quite look the same. Grandma, she said, tilting her head in confusion. What big eyes you have. The better to see you with, my dear, replied the wolf, trying to sound as grandmotherly as possible. And Grandma, what figures you have, Little Red said, growing more suspicious. The better to hear you with, my dear, the wolf replied, grinning slyly under the covers. Then Little Red gasped. Grandma, what big teeth you have. The better to eat you with, the wolf roared, throwing off the covers and revealing his true self. Terrified, Little Red screamed and ran toward the door, but the wolf was fast, and he lunged toward her. Just when it seemed like there was no escape, the door burst open, and in came a brave woodsman. He had been nearby chopping wood when he heard the commotion. With his mighty axe in hand, he rushed into the cottage, scaring the wolf away with one powerful swing. Get out of here, the woodsman shouted. The wolf, realizing he had lost, turned tail and fled deep into the forest, never to be seen again. Once the wolf was gone, Little Red and the woodsman freed grandmother from the closet. She was shaken but unharmed, and they all breathed a sigh of relief. Oh, thank you, kind woodsman, grandmother said. You saved us. Little Red hugged her grandmother tightly. I'm so sorry, Grandma. I should have listened to Mother and stayed on the path. The woodsman smiled warmly. You're safe now, and that's what matters. But remember, Little Red, the forest can be dangerous, and it's always important to be careful and follow the rules. 
From that day forward, Little Red Riding Hood learned a valuable lesson about staying on the path and never talking to strangers. She was forever grateful to the brave woodsman who had saved her and her grandmother. As for the wolf, well, he was never seen near the village again. And so, Little Red and her grandmother continued to enjoy their time together. But now, whenever Little Red journeyed through the woods, she stayed on the path, always cautious, always aware, and always with a heart full of gratitude for the kindness and bravery that had saved her. Moral of the story, this classic tale teaches us to always listen to our parents and be cautious when talking to strangers. Little Red Riding Hood learned that even the sweetest of words can be a trick, and it's important to stay safe and make wise choices. With bravery, kindness, and a little help from friends, we can overcome any danger. Follow-up questions and answers. Where was Little Red Riding Hood going, and why did she go into the meadow? Answer. Little Red Riding Hood was on her way to visit her grandmother, who wasn't feeling well. She went into the meadow to pick flowers for her grandmother because the wolf tricked her into leaving the path. Who tricked Little Red into leaving the path, and how did the wolf disguise himself? Answer. The wolf tricked Little Red by pretending to be friendly and suggesting she pick flowers. He then disguised himself by putting on grandmother's nightcap and glasses and pretending to be her. Who came to the rescue and scared away the wolf, saving Little Red and her grandmother? Answer. A brave woodsman heard the commotion and rushed to the cottage. He scared the wolf away with his axe, saving Little Red and her grandmother.